Olivier Saar, if you guys don't know, the man who played at the University of Kentucky, is now being signed by the Portland Trailblazers to a training camp deal, I believe. Like, he's going to be fighting for a roster spot. Not necessarily guaranteed to make the team, but because they it's an Exhibit 10 deal, so he'll probably be go join the G League team after training camp. Like, he can still make the, the team. But he's 23, played 22 games for OKC last year after being undrafted out of Kentucky in 2021. He played his first few years at Wake Forest, then transferred to Kentucky. He's actually a Frenchman. He started playing in France and he played basketball, you know, until he was 15 in France and moved to the States when he was 15. He was a four-star recruit. And he's basically only played for the Oklahoma City Thunder so far. And in college, I mean, he's always shown that he's rim protector. You know, he's shown that he can rebound when willing. I do believe that he is a bit handicapped to being more of a, I think, just a rim blocking, rim running, shot blocking, energy big off the bench. I don't think he's a starter quality in the NBA. Nothing against him. There's legitimately nothing against him. It it just comes down to there's other players that I'm I'm higher on in general and in free agency. Now, Olivier Saar, let's talk about how he closed out the year last year. Olivier had a great, great closeout. Okay. If you looked at him you know, post All Star break, he was averaging seven and a half points with a block a game and assist and four and a half rebounds to close out in the last twenty games for them. As a starter in two games, it wasn't pretty. He averaged a block, three and a half points, two and about five rebounds. It wasn't too pretty. He's not the scorer or anything. He's really going to be a guy who's going to make his living off of, you know, being able to minimize his mistakes and make the right reads because if you look over here he's a guy who's really only turning the, doesn't turn the ball over much and i'm a fan of his obviously there's certain aspects of his game that he needs to work on but i think all in all he's a guy who could shock a lot of people make the roster but he's probably going to be on the g league team maybe be a mid-season call up i'm surprised this team doesn't have more backup big men that's something I do think they're lacking is backup bigs. And just looking at this Phoenix, uh, not Phoenix, my so apology, Portland Trailblazers roster. You look at it, there's Yosef Nurkic. I guess Treden Wofford could, you know, play backup center in a pinch if needed. And I think, it, I mean, they have Norvell Pele, Drew Eubanks. That's really their three centers. So, I mean, I like Drew Eubanks. I also wonder how all this is going to go down, but hey, that's not my job, ain't it? But I want to hear your thoughts down below, guys. What do you guys think of this? And who are you guys expecting to see as the rotation for the Portland Trailblazers? You know, basically, who do you think is going to be the ones that are, I guess you could, one could say, making the reads on this i don't know hope you guys do have a great day that's basically it for me i want peace out a town i really don't know what else to say but Ooh. the worst thing about when you edit videos is like making sure when you splice them that they aren't going to get flagged for copyright claim so you can get all the money in the world for them that's the big thing with YouTube videos, guys. You guys need to learn how to get that money out of them. Ooh, we gotta leave one right there. Pull one right there. Ooh. All right. Okay, we finished editing clips together. I feel good. That's basically the video. We're gonna milk this at this point, I guess, to the five minute mark, because why not? But, hey, I always forget, like, center, it's such a hard position to find guys, but at the same time, it's easy to find them. It's hard to find the really good ones, but it's easy to find guys if you're trying to run center by committee. Why did you think those warrior teams during the mid to any tens were just going with so many basically 
lineups where they were in for multiple years in a row center by committee even though you could argue for a good amount of time there was our man Andrew Bogut there but hey that, that's basically it I hope you guys do have a great day Pup, peace <laughs>